Oh, hey guys, welcome to Fake Sunday, aka Friday. Got up at about 10 o'clock today. I went to bed early last night and uh, was up by around 10. Had some breakfast, you know, took a dump, had a shower, all that nonsense. And uh, here we be. Here we be. Ah, coffee's good. So I was kind of shocked. This showed up today, the new egg package. Video card came in like two days. They said five to ten business days for shipping, and it came in two days. So right on new egg. Fuck, that was quick, eh? That was way quicker than I was expecting, so that's pretty awesome. So I'm probably gonna install that tonight. We'll get it all set up and cleaned up and ready to rock again. And then get that computer off my desk and back to my buddy and uh, get paid get paid. Fuck, I like getting paid. We'll just go from there. Like at 4 o'clock, I'm going over to my parents' house for dinner. We're gonna have uh, lasagna and probably garlic bread for dinner. It's gonna be freaking awesome. But, um, yeah, that's about what's happening there. So today's gonna be a pretty basic day, pretty boring. Um, also, about the mini bikes. Uh, there is supposed to be a bolt holding that clutch on. Now this really bothers me because neither red bike or black bike has that bolt in it. I don't know where the fuck the bolt went. Like, I honestly don't know where it went. And I'm trying to find some older pictures and videos of from last year to see if there was a bolt in them And honestly, I don't think there was I don't think there ever was a bolt in, in that clutch so uh, I was chatting with Adrian and his actually has the bolt in it So he sent me a picture and then I found the bolt online So I ordered four of them that way there I have some backups and then we can get the uh, Shit all set up and hopefully not have problems where everything falls apart so I really want to ride this year and I don't want to be halfway on the friggin field and all of a sudden lose power Because my chain decided to jump off and take the clutch with it because that would just suck I just want to go out to the garage and check around the mini bikes and see if I can spot any bolts that shouldn't be there. You're not in the sun, dude. You should lay over here. Look at how warm it is right there. Hey, eh? it's told more warmer over there. Hey, buddy. Oh, you love the neck scratches. Yes, you do. Oh, you little cat and cat and. Who's that meow meows? Who's that da meow meows? Who's that da da meow meows? Then there's this thing. All the snow is gone. But look at this nice pile of sand here. For freak's sakes. I probably don't need these shovels anymore. I can put them away. Oh, man. Still a little bit of snow over there. But, uh, yeah, Rex can come pick up his tractor whenever he wants now. It's not frozen to the ground anymore, so that's perfect. Yup. Look at all the, uh, random Oreo leashes that degraded and died over the winters. Anyway, I came out here to go check out the garage. I want to see if there is. And there is. Right there. What the hell is that for? Um... Yeah, because theoretically, that's threaded in there, and I bet you that was what's holding on the clutch. Let me get that out and see if it'll fit. That totally threads in there, so I need to get a washer and a lock washer and then bolt this fucker on. But I ordered more anyway, because Red Bike didn't have one either, so uh, I don't see any washers or any lock washers on the ground anywhere. God knows where they could have frigged off to anyway. Man, is it ever cold in this garage right now. Holy shit. Wow, what happened? When did that break? Oh. Anyway. Okay, so now I need to find a washer to fit this and then bolt her back on. Okay, I got that bolted back on, but we got another problem here. I just realized this. This chain is missing the, uh, the thing. <laughs> I don't even know the name. Like the Master Links Clippy guy. It's probably in the backyard, so let's go see if we can find it, maybe. I wish I had a fucking magnet on a stick or something. This should be fun. Looking for a needle in a haystack, or a master link in a fucking derelict backyard. <sighs> it's gotta be around here somewhere. Where did I find the chain? It was around here, eh? So, where the fuck? I don't want to stand in my light. Yeah, I really don't know. You can probably buy those pieces, right? You gotta be able to buy those. Maybe a motorcycle shop will carry it. Just trying to find that piece. Chances are it probably broke when the, cl when the clutch slipped off. Fuck, it could have flown anywhere. I don't think I'm gonna have any luck locating that today. Well, I'll talk to Adrian and see where he got his because I know he rebuilt his chain the one time. Is that fucking cobwebs? What is that? Weird. I still have no idea what the hell this is. This looks like caribou shit, eh? Looks like a caribou came back here and totally fucking bucked one off. Big times. Like, motherfucker got into the McDonald's and just started walking and shit in a nice path. Big sakes. You know, I asked them yesterday to not drop off flyers anymore. And they still do. Freak sakes. Like I got all the flyers on my phone now and my iPad through that program called Rebe, right? So I really don't need to receive paperbacks. But I got it electronically. 
Anyway, there's not much I can do out here. At least we found out that the bolt didn't fall out in the trail. It fell out in the garage some magical way. So we'll just have to see where Adrian got his master link things for his chain and uh, get them for ours. And then rebuild the fucking thing. I, I would think I could probably get that at the motorcycle shop just down the road. Mind you, I could probably just grab it right now and go and check. That'd be an option. Hmm. So apparently the motorcycle shop here in town doesn't have the chain I need. Uh, Adrian said he made do by going to H.E. Browns and getting a master link that worked somewhat. But I'm going to bring the chain in and see if I can find something that'll work. But uh, let me just find the part number here and I'll show you exactly what I'm after. And uh, we'll go from that. So that's basically the chain right there. It's the MB200 242 Baja OEM 42 link chain. And that's what I need right there. And for some reason it's not a common chain I guess I don't know I don't know like I'm sure somebody you dizzy if you watch this shit like maybe you might know like well you're an American too so you don't have the same stores as us you can't really say go to Canadian Tire I guess for sakes uh any Canadians on who have mini bikes who bought parts locally in their town can you tell me where you bought them something so simple like a chain shouldn't be this hard to replace but if I have to you know it's only eleven dollars for a chain plus probably seven bucks for just so 20 bucks I can get a brand new chain but all I need is that stupid clip that clips on there and makes it like that part right there dead center camera I need that thing and I'm pretty sure mine snapped and you can hear it on the video too of when it snaps so <laughs> fuck shit piss cock balls eh yeah that bike's basically immobilized until I get the parts in and I also have the parts coming in for the uh come on brain any fucking day now for the uh, the clutch assembly on the red bike I gotta make sure both of those are battened down bolted on get some good chain lube going for them so that problems like this do not arise maybe if I lube the chain first it wouldn't have popped but I'm thinking something fucked with that bike a bit because I don't understand how both of them are supposed to have a bolt in them and neither one does and for some reason they both ran fine for all the romps and you seen last year we put them through their paces pretty hardcore like we took them places you're not supposed to like those are meant to be ridden in like some grassy field like my backyard or you know well obviously bigger than my backyard like if we would have went to like if i had those when i went to the pedo farm you know they would have been awesome there because on the roads and shit you could just bomb around between the trailer and the shops and you'd be you'd would never be able to climb Sky Hill. That's a given, even though it's more of Sky Slope now. But anyway, you wouldn't be able to just climb that with them, but you'd be able to go around and have a blast and go in the back 40s touring on the dirt trails and, you know, and just have a good old time with it. And if the fields were available, riding them on the fields would have been a fucking riot because you could have brought, just opened them wide open and just rolled along. That would have been awesome. But, um, yeah, definitely would be awesome if I had a place like out in Powassan or whatever that had just a field that you could romp on and give her. Mind you, keeping that mode would suck. I need something a little bit bigger than the Dynamark, that's for sure. Eeny hoozle. Did that update to my phone, eh? And it installed Lollipop onto it and fuck is that ever different than the old whatever I had on there before Lollipop. Uh, I never got the KitKat update. I jumped right to Lollipop and I don't know what OS that is. But it's just weird, like the screen on it's weird and it's different and even the text messaging's weird, like, it's all fucking pastel colors, like light blues and oranges and shit. It's really freaking goofy looking. What did I just break? Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. How the fuck did you get into settings now? <laughs> yeah, so it's running Android 5.0.1 now. As you can see, probably on there, somewhere, on the bottom, Android 5.0.1. Well, fuck right on eh gotta love that guy and free update and i don't know what the hell it does to my phone can you tell he's super anxious to go can you tell look at him look at this fucking thing jesus all right let's go buddy all right well oreo's with me but you probably can't see him because he's tiny tell me you're not taking a shit on my seat okay just fired up the car get some windows down in this bitch my goodness you buddies getting out of school i forgot today's friday not actually sunday We'll uh, scoot over to the parents' house and have some free dinner. One of these days, I gotta get around to uh, taking the bird shit off my window. Taking the bird shit off my window. This is the last bottle of my strawberry shortcake. I gotta make some more. I'm just, uh, I ordered some shit in. 
Oh, hey, bud, you gotta take her easy and not fucking break everything. Jesus Christ. But anyway, I ordered some shit. Check this out. Just trying to look out the window. <laughs> what a puppy. But yeah, I ordered uh, some beakers and stuff to make the juice more efficiently. And I have a mixing thing coming in and a bunch of other things coming in. And it's gonna make making e juice so much better and quicker steep times and less waiting and more getting product done. Do I plan on opening a juice company? No, I'm just gonna start mixing for me and my friends, you know. Like if Adrian calls up and he you know he can't get to the store because it's closed or whatever reason and he's out of juice, you know, give me a holler and I'll fucking bang you together a bottle or whatever. And then uh, you can vape that and then uh, you know shit like that like why fucking start a company because right now my biggest concern is what's happening in the Americas and if it happens in the Americas it's happening up here too and it's that whole fucking where they want to ban this these things these darts they, they want to stop these and they want everybody to smoke those blue cigarettes or there's another brand Nuvo I think is the one that Grim Green did and they're the, the ones that look like cigarettes like you hold them between your fingers you suck on them they're good for 400 puffs and then when you're done you throw them in the garbage and like my biggest concern with that is think of how many half depleted lithium ion batteries are going to end up in the garbage because of this and you're not supposed to throw those in the garbage you're supposed to bring them to your hazardous waste depot because they're lithium ion and when you compress them they explode so that's my big concern like right now the waste on this thing for me, it's none because I just, it's literally a piece of coil and a piece of cotton. And so for me, the waste isn't that much because I just rebuild my own coils, pack them and then stack them and then use them when I need them, you know? But for someone who basically replaces the coil every time it's burnt out, well, then their waste is just that coil, not the whole fucking unit. That right there is one thing now. There has been people saying, oh, well, vapors are throwing their used coils at the windows of their car when they're installing new ones. My big question is, is how the fuck are they able to drive and take their tank off their device and unscrew their device and somehow get their tank to sit and not leak while they're exchanging the coil? <laughs> like, it's not exactly an easy task to do. And also, why are they fucking chucking them out the window? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You can rebuild that shit and use it later on for when times are tough and you can't afford to get coils or it's the weekend and the shops only open Monday to Friday and you need a fucking dirt. Well, rebuild your shit, you know? I still have all my dead coils at home. They're, most of them are rebuilt. Got a bunch more to do. I'll probably get them done tonight and get them ready for use and go from there. Fuck waste of money on new coils. Repack your own. But anyway, we're over, almost over at mom and dad's house. Oh, take it easy. See, if you were sitting on the floor, you wouldn't have to do that if you're just on the floor. But no, you got to sit up on the chair. I tell you, dog. I tell you a lot of the times. Not once or twice, but a lot of the times I tell you. Just don't listen. Now, is dad's car in the driveway or did he get home yet? Mom told me, oh, come on over. Your father should be home any second now. And dad's car is not in the driveway. So we're going to side of the road park it. Oh, mom and dad have a little bit of snow left. More than I have, that's for sure. Or you'll get your food. This food's right there, eh? Go get it. Yeah, he can't do it. You can't do it. You're not big enough. But you wish you were a German Shepherd, eh, buddy? Yeah, you do. You're not gonna get it. No, you're getting so mad. You get mad, yes, you just. Oreo, you know you're spoiled, right? You just sent my mom in the house to get you a cookie because you were begging really big time. And look at you. You're so spoiled. Spoiled, freaking, rotten puppy dog. So mom's got another cookie in her pocket. Oreo totally knows. Look at him. Doesn't he look like a little pear? Oh, Oreos. Did, did you taste it? Oh, you, at least you ate half of it this time. He one-shotted the last cookie. Must be good, eh, buddy? So dad went into the shed and Oreo's all upset. Now he's happy. Yeah, he probably start bouncing any second now. Or not. Yay, we're going to stay up on the deck. Look at him. Get on the chair, Oreo. Go for a ride. <laughs> ah, Daddy got himself a little home theater PC, he did. Yeah, there he did. Home theater PC. Oh my goodness, would you look at the lasagnas? Alrighty, well, it's 7 o'clock, which means hockey night in Canada. I Me mean, no like that kind, so let's do ourselves a favor and get the fuck out of here and go home. So, it's Peter Patter. Have at her. Holy shit, that sun's extra bright. Here, buddy, we'll get some fresh air in here. What do you say, Oreos? 
Where was I all those? So, that was a good dinner. We had some lasagna, some garlic bread. Mom brought out these little cookie things for dessert. They're shaped like S's. They're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. And then we went downstairs and Dad got his new set-top box there. That new Cody player or whatever the fuck it is. So we set that all up and watched a couple movies on it. And he's going to try and use it tonight to watch the hockey game because he can stream NHL. So he's going to do that. And uh, yeah, he should have a good time with it. I don't really need a device like that because I have the computer downstairs plugged into the television, right? So I can just go download the Kodi player, install it on that computer, and then my computer and dad's rig, same, same. And he spent 300 bucks on that fucking thing, so theoretically, I don't need to do that. I just need the software. And then uh, we're good to go. Fucking golden, bud. Well, all in all, that was a pretty good visit. Just kind of hung out, talked shit and stuff. Had some lasagna, and then mom gave me the rest of the lasagna. Because dad didn't want any more lasagna, so I got a half of lasagna sitting in the back seat, which is glorious. Glorious. And yeah, yeah. Pretty good times. So, yeah, we'll head her home and fucking, I don't know what we're gonna do. Just thinking about going out tonight and. Scooping up some shit, but I don't really need to go out, so fuck it. Should go get some more bread for my lunches and stuff, but... I'm also thinking about just drinking a lot of beers, getting fucking drunk and passing out early. That's another option. Fuck it. But yeah, that set-top box of Dad's is pretty cool, but the remote they give you with it... Fuck she ever, janky. Not a big fan of that remote. It's kind of a... It's one of those keyboard remote control combos, kind of like the boxy box, but you know, not as awesome as the one for the boxy box. Kind of reminds me of that cheap keyboard that I got that one time to review that had the laser pointer built into it. It's clicky like that, but fuck, it does the job and it allows that thing to work. But I'm pretty sure Dad could go out and buy like a Logitech keyboard and mouse combination, like one of those ones that I have downstairs. I have the next tech version, but he could buy the Logitech authentic version and easily set that thing up. And it'd be a lot more efficient than using, because it literally you use the directional pad on the uh, remote and enter and backspace to go forward and backwards through your shit. So it's kind of pointless to have their their controller. Uh, oh, frig. That and their remote's kind of dinky, but. Danny Hoozle, we are gonna be home in five, four, Carol Dog, three, two, Van, and oh. Oh yeah, like a mouse. I think he wants to get out of the car. What do you say? Wanna go tag? Wanna go tag? Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna have a cold one. So here's the old 43. 50 I think it is and there's the new 6450 and it's in there no lines on the screen everything's beautiful only problem is I don't know the password yeah best part is it's my buddy's daughter's name worst part is I don't know his daughter's name I just texted him and asked him what it is I feel like a dick but uh, hopefully he hooks me up with that information because I kind of I kind of need that kind of need that so I replaced the video card now the fucking hard drive's giving me problems. It had an error message up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it had an error message up on the screen about the fucking hard drive shit in the bed. And then when I hit delete to go into the BIOS, watch this. Oh man, I should never have taken this job. This job's a fucking train wreck. Wow. Going to product. Nope, that's not the one. Going to standard CMOS, and it doesn't even detect the fucking hard drive anymore. Yeah, hard drive shit the bed. What a fucking pile of piss. Well, it looks like this thing is going to be sitting here for a little while longer. Just ran the warranty numbers on this hard drive here, and, um... Yeah, Seagate doesn't honor the hard drive warranty on this one. Because they're like, well, no, we sold this to Gateway, so you got to contact them assholes about it. And my buddy never bought the extended warranty on the computer. If he did, it wouldn't be sitting on my desk back there getting worked on. He would have shipped it off, so he needs a new hard drive. So we're going to have to get him a new hard drive for it, slap it in there, and bill him. And I farted. So, I guess there goes that plan. I was kind of hoping this was going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bang this friggin' video card into it, boot it up, and uh, 
blow away all the shit, but no, 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 no. It's got to be difficult. Got to be a fucking challenge, eh? Can't be easy peasy when you're working on a computer in my house. They never are. But anyway, not a big deal. We'll get that hard drive next week because fuck, it's Friday night and everything's closed. So I'll have to pick it up on Monday. We'll order it up and get it shipped out via New Egg. They're pretty quick. And uh, we'll slap another 1.5 terabyte into it or 2 terabyte, depending on what kind of deals they have. And then, uh, fuck, the recovery partition. I don't even think he has the discs for it. I'll have to ask him. I hope he does. Because otherwise, we're fucked. We're going to have to put an illegal as fuck copy of Windows on there and hope the uh, serial key works.